Well, hey there, Taurus. How are you? It's a weekly reading for you. Um, let's see here. I hope you're having a good birthday. I know we're coming up to the end of Taurus. You guys have had a special month. Here in New England, it's been a little rainy, but still a great month. This is a fantastic month. It has been, definitely. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you, Taurus. Um, let's see what's going on. Energies and messages for Taurus. What's going on? Ooh, I love this. What a great way to start. Star, energy, healing, wish granted, your wish coming true. Isn't that beautiful? Look at you, sun. You card for you, sun, situation, six of swords. Moving on from a situation, opportunity, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Look at you. Moving on from something that, moving on towards something that is going to, you are very happy to do this. Okay. What's coming toward you? Page of, page of Cups. Okay. So something has ended. World. Okay. Final card here. Something has ended that was really about money. Okay, it was really uh, out of balance about money or something like that. Could have been there for the kids. Somebody, something coming toward you is this lovely brand new energy of Page of Cups. This is like a new start. So if you could be with somebody and it had sort of gone into this place about money and everything like that, and now there's like a fresh start here, this sun and Page of Cups. You could be also um, pregnant. Uh, I don't see the Empress here, but we'll see in the Extended. Uh, this could be a new journey about um, birthing something brand new. So it could be an actual baby, all right? It could be an actual baby because this is a big birth um, kind of card too. When I see that, it's like fertilized egg, okay? And then the sun is child energy. This is a wish granted. So there could be some of you, and especially the six of swords, you see there's a child in the boat with her right? Moving forward. This could be a brand, a new relationship and there's something, a new thing you're birthing together. And it could be like, you don't even know each other very well. And it's all new. This is all fresh and new. So something has come to an end. Four of wands, moon, three of wands. I feel like you have really manifested this new relationship. Something has come to an end. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Over this last eight years, you might've been dealing with somebody and like it's finally coming true. You're finally gonna be together. Wow. You've really manifested this. It's kind of secret, right? Because it's underneath the, the moon and the stars. Very romantic, feels very romantic to me. Okay, there's this energy of um, moving forward together. You've got, like, this is like tying up loose ends, eight of pentacles, six of pentacles, when it comes to money and things or or um, way you were doing things in the past and now you're moving towards something new. You've really manifested this. Wow. Something brand new is is opening in your life. A new, a new awakening. A new awakening. Taurus. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's pretty cool. A wish granted. All right, so we're going to do the extended. I'll use a different deck here. I'll use some reversals and stuff. Um, link below for the extended. We're going to talk about blocks to love, actions to take. We're going to get more of a sense of what this is. Okay, link is below. I'll see you on the other side.